remarks this evening uh, will be uh, somewhat truncated. Father Bob says I have three minutes because Craig Shane is going to speak to us tonight about the Catholic faith appeal. But if you promise to give double what you gave last year, Craig does have to see if I have more time. <laughs> okay. Let's just take a, a, a little picture of what we have here in this reading from Mark. First of all, we believe Mark is the first of the Gospels, written around the year 65. We think around 65, some say even earlier than that. It comes out of uh, Rome uh, because Mark, known as John Mark, was a disciple of St. Peter. He gets a tremendous amount of, of his information from St. Peter. The beginning of this Gospel, the shortest of the Gospels, only 16 chapters, it, uh, it starts with John the Baptist preached in the desert. If you look at symbols for the evangelists, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the symbol for this Gospel of Mark is the lion. Why? The lion comes out of the desert, and David was known as the lion of Judah, and Jesus is the successor of the lion of King David. Now, what's really great about this Gospel is the fact that um, Jesus gets right to work. This is the first chapter, and he's going to do two things. This is the first one last week. I spoke about that last week. If you want to hear what I have to say about demonology, you go to Action for Life YouTube, and there's my homily last week about demons, and how Jesus casts out the devil. You hear it again today. But today he is also healing the sick. Okay, this is one of the things that Jesus comes to do, to put things back in right order. Get the devil out, get the demons out. You can say, get the devil the hell out. Get him out, okay. We can say that. And we can talk about very clearly, he came to heal the sick. And of course, he came ultimately to destroy death. Now, let me give you an example. I think most of us here are of an age. <laughs> We can remember the first Superman movie. How many of you remember the first Superman movie? Remember? All right. Do you remember? Uh, Lex Luthor drops a nuclear weapon. And uh, in that disaster, Lois Lane dies. Remember that? Lois Lane died? And Superman, you know, he had like a case on Lois Lane, you know? Okay. And uh, he goes and he. Uh, he goes and he picks up her body and he begins to surf the earth, flying her counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Why? He's trying to put the world back in order. And the idea is original sin screwed everything up, messed everything up, sickness, death. And Jesus comes and he turns the world back the way that God wanted it to be. And Lois Lane comes back to life. He spins time back to the Garden of Eden. And for us, that we look forward to. We want to return back to the Garden of Eden, that perfect, idyllic world that God created for us, where there is no sickness, or where there is no death. Lastly, this. Jesus leaves the church his sacraments. And the sacraments are meant for our healing, physical and mental. We have the sacrament of the sick. We just tell you about the hospital in Camden, New Jersey. There's a sign engraved over the portal. And it said, the body is sometimes evil, but the soul always. And I always thought about that. I go to a hospital here, go into rooms with sick people, sometimes ICU people who are dying, families who are grieving, and I can go into those rooms and I can bring the sacraments to those people, and I can administer the sacrament of the sick and give them the healing power that Jesus gave to his church to help his people to overcome sickness and overcome death. Sometimes it works miracles and people do recover, and it's a wonderful thing. Sometimes people don't recover, but they did receive a sacrament, and that sacrament gave them a sense of peace and well-being. Ultimately, all of us must die. But the fact of the matter is that although we must die, for us, Christians, Life continues, and we await the resurrection on the last day. And at that time, the resurrection, just like Superman, turns things back. No more devil, no more sickness, no more death. It doesn't get any better than that. God love you.